we've been having tornado warnings all day long. Now, a lot of dogs are really afraid of weather, bad weather, and lightning and thunder. He's not really such afraid of that, but he doesn't like to be wet. So our biggest struggle when it comes to something like this is getting him to go pee out. <laughs> he'll, he'll hold it because he doesn't want to go out in the weather. So he doesn't like the rain, do you? Split a mud hole wide open, jump right in a lake to chase the ducks, run to the creek, no problem. But rain is not his thing. What's going on with you, Alf? Hello? I know you've been eating good. We've been feeding you good. So we're coming up on springtime now. And springtime in the mountains of West Virginia is always just beautiful. And he just loves to come out here, as you can see. He runs and gets in the creek and does circles around me, and it's his, you know, his activity that he cries and begs and whines to do. If he thinks I'm going anywhere outside, he wants to be out there and wants to go too. And you know, this encourages me to get out there a little bit with him and to, to do more and to do more. That's a good thing. So the weather gets nuts. We'll have beautiful days like today. It's 80 degrees right now. Yesterday was 36, and you saw the day before it was. Um, tornadoes <laughs> of course we're protected by the mountains and the tornadoes rarely do any kind of damage but you know the winds get high and bangs the trees around a little bit sometimes a tree or two will fall but we didn't really have any problem this year some of our areas had some power outages but not really bad so today he's coming out and getting some much needed exercise and get some time out of the house it's a long winter and uh, he spent a lot of time cooped up with us in the house and uh, he's really he's ready to get out and and make his mark, so to speak, and literally. a lot of years I've, I've thought a lot about moving and moving to a better climate like Florida but this is one of the unique features of where we live now is that eight months of the year it's beautiful the weather's really really nice and we can come out here away from everybody and everything and not be disturbed at all for as long as we want and there's plenty of places to just get away that people don't come at all and um, this area is, is gosh I know uh, half a mile uh, from where I, I sleep at night and it's nothing to get to and here we are with nobody to disturb us uh, better than any city park that I've I've ever seen and uh, we could go further up in and the further we go the least likely less likely that anyone is, is going to disturb us at all so I'm pretty happy with it and he's happy with it. It, it allows us to uh, let him run, run leash free, uh, let him be a dog, and uh, for us to just be able to relax a little bit with uh, my job and what I do. You know, a little bit of seclusion and being in the woods and, and uh, being secluded from everything and being by myself in a nice, calm, natural 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 nature environment is nice it, it's really nice there he goes i see you down there how are you gonna get back up here huh come oh you know he's smart enough to know he has to go all the way around Good boy. Good boy. It's good you're soaking wet. Soaking wet. Good boy. So one of the downfalls with this not being a very traveled road, trees fall, like I was saying, uh, when we have heavy winds. 
of things happen. Uh, trees fall, <laughs> and with it not, yeah, he's coming. With it not being a very traveled road, it's not likely that someone else is going to get out and cut it out for us. So at some point, uh, I'm going to have to get up here with a chainsaw and cut this out if we want to go any further. Now it may be possible to get this far in the creek. I don't know. We may be able to ride that far in the creek. I haven't tried it yet. But right now, for today, I think we're going to turn around and, and uh, head back. Just over those logs like they're not really there. Watch him go. 